Hey there, Laurel here, and we're here with a video showing you how I'm gonna do some stamping with distress inks and water. I know. Uh, this is the card I'm gonna make in the video, and if you look closely at the background, you'll see three different shades of blue. Uh, well, I made that using the new Custom Blend Distress Ink Pads, and I'll tell you more about that in just a second. The stamps I'm gonna be using is this Pyrotechnic Stamp Set by The Ton. It's super cool. Love it. I love all the different sizes of those bursts, those fireworks. I just think it's so stinking cool. So here's the custom blend. The colors I used was Salty Ocean, Faded Jeans, and Stormy Sky. And I actually have a video showing you, kind of demoing this product, and I actually make this particular pad. I'll be sure to link to it. Click right up above to go over to that video. It'll also be linked at the end of the video as well, so make sure you finish this entire video. So I took that custom pad that I made and just swiped it across the base of my card there to get those uh, that kind of ombre look there. Now I'm taking some of the images from my from that stamp set, and I'm just putting them on a block and spritzing it with just some regular, good old-fashioned H2O. And look at that. Look at that. You get that background. You get that stamped impression with the water. Now this works because I use Distress Inks as my base. You're not going to get this kind of look if you use other inks because Distress Inks are formulated to react with water. So this is definitely going to be the best ink to use for this particular technique of stamping with water. I went and grabbed one of the smaller uh, Burst There fireworks and again I'm just squirting that stamp with water and then just stamping it down. I just think this is so cool. I love Distress Inks. I use them all the time. You guys probably tire of seeing them, but I just love them. They are so fun to work with and they come in so many different colors. And I love the uh, custom blend pads that he just released. I've got six custom blend ink pads already made and I've got six or seven more to make. So. <laughs> So I decided to take my heat tool and kind of speed this process along and heat up my card base there. I pulled out a piece of hardy board here that I got off of Amazon just to work so I, my, I don't warp my uh, cutting mat underneath. Sometimes when I apply heat, it kind of curls up a little bit and I've got to wait for it to flatten down. So I'm just going over with my heat tool just so I can finish up this card in one sitting. So I decided to take that same burst or firework that I used and I pulled out the, uh, what is this, Stormy Sky? or faded jeans. And I'm gonna stamp right over that. I wanted that deepest blue. I just kind of wanted to create that impression inside the water. And if you look closely, you'll see what I mean. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and ink up that next one. And I'm just gonna stamp right over the lines of that water and it just gives a, just such a cool, cool effect. I didn't do that with all of the uh, fireworks there. I just did that with some of them. I'm gonna go in with the smaller one too. This was faded jeans, by the way. The color that I'm using now is faded jeans. So I'm kind of good with good to go with that. I'm, I'm happy with how that looks. I just think it's cool that you can take stamps and distressings and you start with a white piece of cardstock and now look what you've got. I just think that's so neat. So I'm gonna take the sentiment from that same stamp set and I'm gonna stamp it onto some vellum. This is some super thick vellum by Ellen Hudson. Uh, best vellum I've ever used, love it. And I'm going to ink that up with some Versamark ink and then I'm gonna heat set it. So the embossing powder that I'm using is Liquid Platinum Embossing Powder by Ranger. So I'm just sprinkling that right onto my vellum there. Then I'm gonna flick off any of the excess that, that stuck and then I'm gonna heat set it. With vellum, I usually heat from the back first and almost get it fully melted and then finish the front. I don't wanna warp or bend you know, my vellum or anything, so that's the way that I kinda of do it. So I'm gonna take my paper trimmer, that, that strip of vellum is just too thick for the card, and I'm gonna trim it down, just leaving a little bit at the top and the bottom. Just trimming by, you know, I'm not particular measurements, I'm just eyeballing it and trimming it down. <laughs> Not big on measurements, I know. I know, that might freak some of y'all out, but I'm just not into, I just I just don't do that. I'm all about an eyeball it kind of gal, you know what I mean? All right, so I'm trying to figure out if I want the thing to the left, to the right, to the center, and I always gravitate towards the right, I don't know, because I'm right-handed, I guess, so this time I went to the left, got a little daring, and I went to the left-hand side, so you'll see what I mean in just a second. And I'm just gonna adhere that vellum down to the back of the card. This is gonna get uh, adhered down to a card base, nobody's ever gonna see that. The card base that I'm using is Nina Solar White 110 pound top folding card. But this time it's top folding the long way, so it's five and a half by four and a quarter. 
and then we're just about done. I'm gonna take some Perfect Pearls and just flick on just a little bit. This is a water and Perfect Pearls powder mixture and it just gives you those little bits of, of sparkly shine. I just think it's so cool and especially when it, when it hit on that vellum and when it hit on that Distress Ink, it reacts with that water as well and I just think that's super duper cool. And last thing, I literally went into my garbage can. I'm grabbing garbage out of my can because I want to flick on a tiny little bit of gold textured spray. And I wanted to cover up the rest of my project. So yes, I went into my garbage. I know. What can I say? And that's the card. That's it. So I just think it's cool stamping with water. This stamp set by the ton is so stinking cool. Um, so anyway, I've got a couple links to share with you at the end of this video. One is linking back to the video that I did showing you those DIY, DIY custom blend pads, ink pads. And then I've got another video to share with you on a previous card I did, uh, stamping with water. And uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed. For more pictures and a supply list, please go over to my blog at laurelbeer.org. The supplies are also listed below in the YouTube description if you are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day.